Diary. Welcome back to Sister Girl Diary. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Girl Diary. It's your favorite sister girl, Piggy Pat, and I look a mess because it's morning time and I'm eating and I'm cooking breakfast. I went to go work out. Uh, now I'm back and I'm about to drop a video about how to make cold brew coffee. So I'm making cold brew coffee. I think I need to change the lighting on this camera. So I'm making a video about cold brew coffee and how to make it because I make mine at home because ain't nobody got time to be spending money to go to Starbucks. Spot Starbucks is expensive. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna show you if I can keep my face in the frame of the camera. Uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I use to make the coffee and how I do it. And then I'm gonna show you the show you how I um how to make the cold brew coffee and then I'm gonna show you how I uh, make my actual coffee on a daily basis my ice coffee okay so um stay tuned so the this is the materials I use to make my cold brew coffee and it's damn near don't look at that over there um, it is it is some coffee that you get from somewhere you know like a store whatever kind I got this from can't remember I bought it it was like $5.99 or maybe $4.99 it was cheap so I was just like yes and it's not a bad tasting coffee I got this from a thrift store don't remember how much I paid for but it's adorable i said i was gonna use it for water but i don't like i don't like tasting the refrigerator i don't like how to you know how you put something in a refrigerator and then it comes out tasting like the refrigerator i hate that unless it's like ice because you know ice water tastes different than regular water i don't know girl i got issues anyway so here we are and then i have a one cup and a half a cup. I believe that's coffee. Don't don't judge me. Okay. Don't care if you do. <laughs> okay, so first you go and you open it. Oh my god, girl, get it together. Like get it the fuck together. Look, now I'm making a mess. I'm gonna have to put this camera. Away. So anyway, I just take one cup of coffee. So it's like three to one ratio. So you can put, and it depends on how strong. So I always put at least one cup in there and then I go in with a half a cup to just, y'all, do I do this properly? Do I do this properly? I'm gonna tell you right now, no. Okay, so wing it. You can't go wrong. I don't even think you can go wrong unless you put too much coffee in there. And you don't like strong coffee, you know what I mean? But we making the cold brew, so it gotta be strong, right? Don't that make sense? So it is some things on Pinterest, and that's how I learned this, and I learned it through YouTube too, and I decided to make my own video, but here we are. So do what you do, boo. Do what you do. Okay, and this is what I do, okay? Okay, let's get back to it. That's one cup. Girl, get it together. Okay, that one. God, I messed up my little frame. Okay. I like my coffee kind of strong. And it lasts a good little second too. So that's a cup, a cup and a half. And sometimes, you know, you just want to be like, uh, <laughs> just want to, you know, do a little something extra just because. And then you just keep scooping for some reason. So for me, that's enough. And all you got to do is just wash these out. I wrench those out and so oops 
This is about how much coffee I put in there. And I'm gonna fill it up with water. And I'm gonna fill it up from the sink. And if you have cleaner water than me, then do that. I don't have any bottle. Oh, yes, I do. I do have bottled water. Do I care enough? I probably don't. So. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. So, yeah, you just fill it up. about to waste my bottle of water just to fill this up. Look at a gnat. Whoa. Okay. So then Take a spoon and you just make sure all of that is in there and it's soaked so it can soak and simmer overnight. You know how people season their meat before they barbecue it and they and they and they rub it on there and all them seasons 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 what girl what's the seasons all them seasonings <laughs> and um so it can sim simmer and marinate overnight. That's what we're doing right here. We just simmering. We're gonna let it marinate overnight. And then 24 hours later, it'll be good to go. And then after I do all of that, Go ahead and I cover. Cover with plastic wrap. Because this doesn't have a top. Now, if you have a container that has a top, obviously you don't have to do this. But obviously, my um, my jug doesn't have a top. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, what the fuck have you been doing, like? Like, hey, girl, what the fuck? Obviously, I haven't been this in a while. Oh, God. Ooh, I'm getting somewhere, though, right here. Mm. Mm. Oh, okay. I honestly don't care. Fully cover it up. And you just put it in the refrigerator. Then you let it simmer 20, 24 hours. You let it simmer for 24 hours. And then so tomorrow by this time, which is 11.38 a.m., I will have cold brew coffee. Am I going to wait till 11.38 a.m. to make my drink? No, I'm not. Cause I love coffee and I'm not waiting that long and I need my I need my, my caffeine in the morning okay so okay see y'all tomorrow okay first um, I'll start by pouring the milk in now first and this is the milk that I use who drinks regular milk anymore I don't know I don't 
And I really don't measure my um, syrup. I just pour it in there. Who has time for measuring things? And I also put some Sunday syrup in there. And it's like 90 calories every two teaspoons. And I put a little bit of honey in there. About that much. And then I stir. I stir. I stir for a really long time. After stirring, I put some ice in there. Saving the money. I like for my iced coffee to taste like coffee. I'm even gonna put some more in there. Yup. Boom, 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 boom. Tell me what you're gonna do with it, no way right. I keep getting this damn ice cube in my damn mouth. What the fuck? Pissing me off. Mm, 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 mm. Peace.